Sometimes I feel like different people. And a world that doesn't understand. Stop fighting this. You stop fighting it. Inspired by a true story. Believe me, I'll take my kids. Please don't leave. Heather Locklear in her most dramatic role. I think she tried to kill herself. Stay back. Shattered Mind on the NBC Monday Night Movie. A multiple personality. I don't feel right calling it that. That's like I'm possessed. Dissociative disorder. That's better, yeah. It's much better. Um, like I can't make connections with myself or with the world. It's like I'll, I'll sometimes I'll open a door some, somewhere and I'll be in a whole different place altogether. And it'll be two hours later or even a whole day or night. I just lose track of time in between. Like when I met Sean. I, I don't really remember that. Or the wedding. Though everybody, everybody tells me I was never happier. I do remember Molly being born. Oh, God. That's when I learned what love really meant. And when Rosie came along, feeling, feeling just doubled. Having my family made me believe that everything was going to turn out wonderful after all. And then my father was in his office last August. And everything came unglued. Jim! Jim! Susie? Susie? inside and pin your face in your hands. Come on, let's go. Look at my pretty picture. What are you doing? Why aren't you dressed? We have to be there in 15 minutes. Where? The funeral. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I can't go like this. No kidding. You, you, you take the girls. I'll, I'll get dressed and I'll meet you there, okay? Can I help you? Nice. How did 
you see this mess? This is a really nice one. And so it is with the sad part that I say Dr. Tremaine was far more than just a caring citizen and a loving husband and father. He was more even than one of those rare... Not a scotch, hon. Ginger. It's Huff. Don? What's up? I heard you were living with some guy. Oh, no. Want to make some money? Eddie! Look for a game? Sure, why not? Eddie, this is Ginger. Hey, Ginger. How you doing? I'm just... Uh... 80 bucks. Young like 20 more. Yeah, I got it. Oh, what happened? Everybody's freaking out. You missed the funeral. I called and called. Why didn't you answer? Who are you? Susie, cut it out. Come on, wake up. We gotta call your mom. She's frantic. Mommy! Shh! We waited a half hour for you before we started the funeral. I hit her. You want some aspirin? I can't swallow. What, do you want those baby aspirin again? I know, I know. It's awful. I remember when my father died. I was crazy, too. Oh, John. I miss him. father peered in. You're already dressed, he said. Yes, said Verdict. Mom, that... Dad's skipping again. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, said Verdict. That's where I... That's not skipping. Yes, you are right there. <laughs> Mom, can you read to us? Sure. No, Dad. You're impossible. Right there. Okay. Stick out your tongue, said his father. More, 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 say ah. Ah. Your throat is clear, your nose is stuffed. <laughs> I'll make some bra, said Burdick's mother. Ew. Ew. Have you girls brushed your teeth? I have. No, you I haven't. Have. Get in there. I have. I'll finish and mommy, story. I have too. Oh, no, you yes, haven't. I you have. get in here. Yes, the I monster's have. gonna get you. you <laughs> Good girl. Susie? Where'd this money come from? My sock drawer? Well, it was on the floor. Well, it must have slipped out. I'm waitressing again. Where? It's only part time. Well, who's taking care of the girls? My mom, mostly. Well, are you okay with that? Well, I have to be till we get ahead. Then maybe I can take some classes. Classes? What are you talking about? Hello. Ginger. I got you another date. I'm sorry, what number are you calling? 
Oh, I get it. I get it. That guy's there. Huh? Well, listen, call me back on my car phone, okay? You must have the wrong number. There's no one here by that name. What kind of classes are you talking about? For teaching. I want to be a teacher. For what? You always hated school. I want to work, okay? You've got bills to pay, and I don't want to have to ask my mom for money. She's got problems of her own anyway. Look, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm not a doctor like your father was, but at least give me enough respect that if you get a job, to tell me about it. Sean, where are you going? Put the girls to bed. Malpractice suits. Yes, I just found out about it. It's nothing to worry about and happens all the time. I'm going to tell your mother on Thursday. Oh, it doesn't matter what you tell Martha. She only believes what she wants to. Well, if you need money, I'm sure she'd give you a loan. A loan? I earned that money. In, in what sense, Susie? counting on it. That's what I meant. talking about McCorder College. What about it? You said you wanted to go there. It's only $300 a credit. But what about the SATs? Uh, don't they require around $1,200? Girls, please be careful over there. I'll get it. I'll get $1,200. Maybe you should set your sights quite so high. Remember all the trouble you were having in school? You really don't remember? Maybe that's why you don't test well, which is only one kind of intelligence, but unfortunately, it's what school is all about. Mom, I want to be a teacher. I want to help people. I want to make things clear. I understand. Just because you didn't work. What are you talking about? I managed a restaurant from the time you were 11. I swear, sometimes your brain is like Swiss cheese. Here. Oh. I can't take any more of your money, Mom. You said you needed a loan. Just 
now, at lunch. Don't you remember? Of course. It's just that I am... I know how you feel. I feel awful sometimes myself. Some days since your dad is gone, I feel like... So please let me, let me help you. Take this. All right, darling, here's the deal. Uh, it's a twofer. You think you're up for it? Snow in the winter? Gotta make up for next week. Why, where are you going? Susie. This guy and his kids. It's his family reunion. Susie. Sorry, Helen. You want something? Oh, you're Susie Tremaine. English three. Mr. Iosa. Name's Ginger. Your dad was a doctor, right? Wasn't his name Jim Tremaine? Yeah. Bad. So now your name is Ginger, huh? Um, my dad knew your dad. Don't know why that doesn't impress me. Well, he died recently, didn't he? Your dad? Uh, excuse me. I don't mean to be rude. Uh, I would like to go. Whoa, hey, Ginger. Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, settle down now. I have to pick up my kids. Oh, suddenly they're your kids, huh? You know, I went to some trouble here, Ginger, and uh, you're making me look bad. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. All right, gentlemen. Yeah. Ginger, come here, sweetheart. Hey, come here. Where the hell are you going? Open up. Open up. Daddy, no, no. Daddy, no, no, no. Listen to your daddy. Please, daddy, no. Susie, no. <laughs> Ginger. Open up. Open up. Yes, I need you to open up now. <laughs> Really getting drifty, aren't you? Let's go get some coffee. No, no coffee or tea. Pull your, your twin. All right, let the lady through. Lady, looks like a hooker to me. Yeah. Hey, she's all right. The bigger the mouth, the smaller it is. Hey, why don't we go check that out? Yeah? Oh, well, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Kids give you any trouble? No. I just popped by to help with dinner. I meant last week. Last week what? Susie, where are the children? Dinner. Can I go 
Girls, stay right here. Okay. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Mommy. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, they won't take your card. What do you mean? Ginger spent. What? She doesn't want us to go to school. Excuse me? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why don't you just step in traffic and get it over with? Excuse me. Ma'am, are you all right? You're losing it, Susie. You're going insane. Where are you going, Mom? You have three hours to work on the questions in this test book. There are five 30-minute sections and two 15-minute sections. Okay? Break your seals and open the booklets. Now, if you finish in the allotted time, you may go back and work on this section. But you may not go on to any other section. Is that clear? Begin. I mean, it still sucks, but I'll be making more money and uh, I won't be on the loading dock anymore. That's great. And you're going to school. No, I'm not going to get into school. Come on, stop that. No, I'm not. Look at me. Get out of here! Get out of here! 
I thought you were packing. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on, your mom's freaking out. Why? As we're running late. Traffic's gonna be real bad. Maybe I'll teach kindergarten. I'm good with children. Or maybe algebra. Okay. Mom, I got a 710 on my map. I'm getting into the quarter. Susie, you barely finished high school. There's no way. All I know is I'm getting in. Who's going to watch the kids? Sean. How is he going to do that? I don't know. It was good enough for you and Dad. Your dad and I had money to hire help. Yes, Martha. And why didn't I get any of that money? Suddenly I'm Martha. Something wrong with your hand? I'll tell you why I didn't get the money. Because his patients are suing the estate. That's nonsense. Who told you that? Let me see your hand. Chester did. He told me. It's ridiculous. Why would Chester lie to you? Martha, the color is this frying pan. What are you talking about? The color. Black. Just checking. I just thought you might think it was white. Susie. Good job. Stop hiding it! Stop it! Stop! Susie, talk! Susie, stop it! Martha. Susie, where are you going? Come back here. Sean, Sean, help her. Chicken. Chicken. Some are telling me to live. When does this happen? When you're, uh, when you're tired? Yeah. She's worried about the children. I imagine so. Wake up, Chester. We need a psychiatrist. You mean, uh, for the family, uh, a family therapist? Hmm? Is that what I mean? Well, I think that'd be best. It's, it's not free. Maybe your mother will help out. I'll make some calls. In the meantime, I want you to take this for the depression. And this. 
help prevent the panic. Sometimes I feel like different people. I understand. Some days you're up, some days you're down. The bigger the silverware, the closer to the plate, and napkins on your right. Dirty spoons. Hey! How you doing? Mwah. Mwah. Uh, yeah. Be careful, sweetie. <laughs> hey, that's my so, uh, did you fill the prescription? Mm-hmm. Mm, the pills working? For me, they are. Huh? I'm a happy zombie. Oh. You smell good. You smell like a mm, raw onion. <sighs> Ooh. Hey, what was that for? Come on. Your hands, little rats. It's time to wash your hands. Don't talk to the girls like that. What's wrong with you? You wash your hands. It's no use, pigeon. Nobody gets it. death of me. Has that ever happened before? Yeah, but I've always been able to snap her out of it. Susie? Susie, it's uh, Chester. What are you working on? My college application. I'm taking 12 credits at McCorder. Didn't Susie tell you? Tell me. Well, that's probably because Susie doesn't know. You see what I mean? You understand, don't you, Chester? No, I'm... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. Then please, help us find someone who does. We're here to see Dr. Mullins? Certainly. I'll be in a room and I'll wonder, what am I doing here? What did I come in here for? Have you been drinking more lately? No, wait. I can't stand the taste of alcohol. Then how do you account for the blackouts? Well, I don't take drugs, so maybe it's because I've been so stressed out lately. And your CAT scan was normal. So, when you're stressed, is that when you start to talk to yourself? Never out loud. But how would you know if you're losing whole days? It's hard to say. What did the other doctors have to say? The other doctors? I mean, how many doctors have you seen so far? Uh, two, three, four. You don't remember? I, um, I thought that's why I was sent to you. Um, your specialty is amnesia. Well, in a way, in a way. Actually, my specialty is dissociative disorders in which memory loss is one of the symptoms. Dissociative. No, it doesn't matter. It's just a, just a term. You know, what's more important is this memory loss. How long has this been happening? No, that's okay. Can you tell me your earliest memory? Um... Oh, God. 
I'm sorry, is there someplace you have to be? Uh, my children, um, I have to leave here by four to pick them up and my mom's watching them. Mrs. Mitchell, do you remember what you told me on the phone? About my mom? Is that what you want me to do, talk about my mom? Well, sure, if that's what you want to talk about. Because I... I really can't afford this. Um, money is very tight right now. I don't know where it all goes. I, I'm just, I'm terrible with money. It's probably my biggest problem in life. Other than the voices. <laughs> They're not really voices. It's just me talking to myself. You know, the way everybody does. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the money, all right? Who's been spending it? We don't have any money. We can't pay for this. That's all there is to it. We? Me and Sean, what, what did you think I meant? I'm sorry, I really have to go. Well, oh, Mrs. Mitchell. I don't have a very good memory. Coming home from the hospital with Molly. She's nine years old. That's that's as far back as I can remember. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if that sounds weird to you. No, no, that that doesn't sound weird to me. Why don't we sit down and we can work this out? No, I'm late. I'm sorry. You've been very kind. Susie, what did he tell you? Nothing. I think I'm a freak. He's trying to put ideas in my head. Come on, honey. That sounds a little crazy to me. Susie, you think I'm a nut, too? John, please. I'm tired, and I've been from one doctor to another. It's helped. It really has. Just, I just want to get back to my life. Why are you looking at me like that? Susie's great with the girls. I mean, they're great kids. They're strong. They love her. I mean, there's no better mother on earth. Go on. Well, um, you know, she, sometimes she goes into these modes. You do. You just don't realize it. What kind of modes? Well, there's the little girl mode when she doesn't want to know me. And then lately, if you know, I even try and touch her, she goes into this um, butch routine. I do not. That, that's not true. Well, what do you call it? You're awful to me. You treat me like... I understand. Well, she does. Stop this, please. Tell me about when the two of you first met. Susie was, uh, Susie was working in a bar. Dancing, you know, nothing that, <laughs> that raunchy, it just kind of bikini dancing. Can you believe it, this shy thing? So when did things begin to change? When uh, Molly was born, our oldest girl. That sort of spelled the end of the party girl. Did it, Susie? No. For me, everything was fine. That's not true. It's like you just disappeared. I mean, we didn't have sex for months. Do you recall that, Susie? No. She's lying. Why are you doing this? He is trying to help us. You don't remember, do you? No. Stop fighting this, damn it. You stop fighting it. Can you step back? Hi, how are you? <sighs> how do you think I am? I don't know. Fed up. Already with both of you. Okay, that's fair. Fair, and don't give me that flossy crap. Didn't I tell you it wasn't straight up? Yeah, sort of. At least you're being honest now. Cut the crap, what do you want? Whatever you want to tell me. Here we go again with your lame-ass questions. 
Okay, okay. Um, do you spend Susie's money? Put Ginger's moves on me. Ginger? Who's Ginger? Tom! Sometimes. Susie. Susie, honey. Susie. Did you hear any of that? I know things have been kind of weird lately. But your mom, she's been going through something, and, you know, I get upset with her. And then she forgets to do some things, like you know, picking you up at school. Dad, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's got to be pretty scary. And your mom and I were trying to deal with it. Sometimes your mom's your mom, and then sometimes she's like somebody else. And, you know, ever since Grandpa died, started to get worse. I know, Dad. No, you see, it's more complicated than that. It's not... It's not like sometimes she's happy, sometimes she's sad. It's, it's more complicated than that. Daddy, we know. How do you know? Can we still play with Bonnie? Who's Bonnie? The one who likes to play. Why is Bonnie lying in the corner? She's afraid. Why? Because she's gonna have to leave. Well, she's gonna come back. No. Never. Why not? Because I'm um, everybody's fighting around money. Well, fighting about money isn't good. Why are they doing that? So your prices are high as hell, you idiot. Well, hello again. Yes, I'm afraid I do have to make a living, but... Didn't Sean say something about you getting some financial help from your mother? Who I look like an accountant. Well, who who does the books? I mean, who's the math whiz? Who got a six fifty on her boards? Seven twenty. And the money for your information is tied up in malpractice suits, which I happen to be in the process of investigating. I see. Oh. Uh, I'm Eric, by the way. Who are you? Me. Well, it's nice to meet you, me. Yeah, I think you could be very helpful to us. Which would be a triumph for you, Dr. Scanlon. A victory for Prince Scanlon. Scandal for the lean, clean, beautiful queen. Victoria is my name. What's your lame brain sane game? That's a very difficult game, Victoria. I'm not going to lie to you. Our process is we work together to begin to talk to each other so that we can finally blend and become one. You want us to ask our mother for money. I'm warning you, Ginger will never countenance that. Why not? Because that's her policy. Well, could you, um, could you explain that to me? Please, Eric, don't be disingenuous. I'm sure you've read the same texts we have. Of all recorded cases of multiple personality, fewer than 5% have failed to demonstrate an etiology of repeated traumatic abuse. That's very good. Are you saying that your mother abused you? 
You're saying that. You don't remember, do you? Well, what about Ginger? Does she remember? <laughs> well, Ginger won't talk to you. Why not? Well, what about Bonnie? Bonnie? Do you want to come out and play again? Of course, we could always forget to pay you, couldn't we? It's another alternative. Bonnie? Hi. It's me, Eric. Bonnie, what do you see? Who am I? Susie. I need to talk to Susie now. Susie! Why are you doing this? Because, sweetheart, between therapy and chauffeuring the kids, you can't be everywhere at once. Are you all right? Listen, why don't you go lie down, and I'll make sure that Sean and the girls get their dinner. Incidentally, I sent a check to your therapist directly. Are you sure you're okay with that? Of course. Makes me feel useful now that your dad is gone. How's your therapy coming, by the way? I don't know. Guess I'm finding out some stuff. Well, so long as it doesn't become a crutch. Thanks, Mom. Morning. office. Clever. Didn't even open these.
That'll teach you, Natalie Adams. Honey, get the phone. Ginger. Talk about phone tag. I gotta get out of here. Because hmm. I need you to make another run to San Diego for me. Trevor again? How much? How much do you need? Hmm. Not for a ticket to Hawaii. I'm serious, Helen. I'm going nuts. Yeah, you never did strike me as much of a homebody. Just mean I'm going to lose my best girl? <laughs> You're breaking my heart. You're not gonna flake out on me again, are you? No, no way. This has gotta work or I'm dead. See you in an hour. Bye! Hi there. Can I help you? Yes, please. Can I see that there? That's a pretty gun. One? Yeah, that one there. Okay. Thank you, mister. Let's go home. Let's stop this. Sorry. That's got to be really tough on your kids, huh? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my father. No, um, no, my boyfriend, he's, he's still alive. He's watching the girls. <laughs> Any more at home like him? Hey, Precious, you, um, want to go again? She's with me. Oh. I get it. <laughs> Good. Good. Now, go on. Take it somewhere else. Um, gotta get ready for my set. Do you maybe want to go get some dinner later? Oh, um, yeah. Maybe. I don't know if I'll have time. Hey, Precious. Hey, can, um, can I watch? Watch what? Oh, you and your friend. Hey, Ginger. Hello, Mr. Trevor. What are you, stoned? They've got money. Excuse me a second. Hold up. Come on. So you got it? Got what? My product. Oh. Wait a minute, hey, what the hell does that mean? Don't you get it? She doesn't want to talk Look, to you. Just stay out of this. No, right? you stay out hey, of this. Stop it. Hey, whoa, 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 settle down, boy. Stop the fighting! Whoa! 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 
the hell is it? Where's my money? All right, look. Just give me whatever you've got. Grab change, you crazy bitch. You're out here. Take my word for that. But I love you. Susie, I want to talk to Susie. Too much to deal with right now. Hello. Sean, I think we got to call the police. This isn't Sean, it's DJ. Oh, I must have dialed the wrong number. I'm terribly sorry. Susie, where were you tonight? I had to lie to your mom. I had to lie to the kids. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Just don't make me lie to you. I want to talk to the woman I married. She's not here. The bitch almost got us all killed. Susie, what in the hell's going on here? Yeah. Susie! Didn't work out. Deal's off. Who's this? A friend of Ginger's. Ah, she's through with you. you. Listen to me, whoever you are. You tell her that I want back what belongs to me. Otherwise, she's gonna disappear. You tell her that. Hello? You understand that? Hello? Susie. Hello? Susie. 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 What's going on here? Susie. Hey, Martha? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I need you to watch the girls. Hey, Hot. Hey, Ginger. How did you do that? The old-fashioned way. With a gun? This. I see. And how long have you been doing that? Forever. Don't you tell Susie. All that girl knows how to do is fold laundry. She didn't even exist before those kids. We created her, not the other way around, okay? Okay. 
Just ask Susie what she remembers before her kids. Well, I, I know what she remembers. And that's where it's going to stay. Hmm? You know, I, I think you'd be really surprised at how much Susie is finding out about herself. Tell me about it. She's totally freaking out. You just lay off or we all have history. What are those burns on your arm? Who does? No, you stay back. You think you know about our history? You think we were molested? That's a load of crap! I was always in oh, control. Leave always! Leave you, stay you stay back! Sean, please! Stay back! Stay back! It's okay. Stay there. Shattered Mind will return in a moment on NBC. office you were holding a gun. I don't remember. Well, when are you going to remember, damn it? I mean, you got a whole secret life going here. You, now it's firearms and guys and bars. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going a little crazy here myself. You look better? Finally got some sleep. My work's been kind of nocturnal. Well, how did you get into your line of work? <laughs> My line of work? Mm -hmm. well, come on, Eric, you can say it out loud. I'm a prostitute, a hooker, a beat girl, street meat, ho, pro. Strawberry, back alley Sally. Ginger. What do you like when it's time to Georgia? What makes you hot and horny, freaky? Out with it, boy. What gets you off? Susie. <sighs> Did you hear any of that? No. Susie, what did you hear? 
Do you think Ginger was lying? Yes. No, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. This is important, Susie. You just heard somebody else. My God. Does Sean know? Well, he's starting to. He already asked me about the gun and about some guy that you threw a package to. Oh, don't tell him. You can't tell him. You can't know. My life. My life. He'll leave me. He'll take my kids. barbecued it. Now you rescued it. <laughs> Claim it. Natalie Adams, you little tattletale. Tattley Natalie Adams. Come on, Susie. It's now or never. Yes? Can I help you? Are you Natalie Adams? Yes. I'm Susie Tremaine, Dr. Tremaine's daughter, please. Look, I'm not supposed to talk about the case with anyone, okay? Please help me. Um, I've got to talk to someone. Just tell me one thing. One thing, I'll go away, please. I don't care about the money. I probably shouldn't have come. No, you probably shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sure you are. Would you like some tea? No, thank you. So what do you want to hear about? The time I woke up in his office with my panties around my ankles? Or the time he climbed onto the examining table. Or the nightmares. Maybe you'd like to hear about those. Or the injections he gave me. 
and then asking me to come back again and again. And I went. What did I know? I was just a kid, right? He said if I didn't, he had friends who could find me anywhere. He said that he had eyes in the back of his head. Thank you. Thank you very much. And there's others, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have to go. I'm not the only one. You want their phone numbers? No, I'm fine, thank Cause you. Because I could give you their phone numbers. You know, I've got their phone numbers. Thank you very much. I come back and finish your dinner. Didn't eat the eyes. Now they'll always be watching you. Susie, please. What do you think she does at those bars? She's lying. And all those little tricks that turn you on. What do you think she learned them? I want to talk to Susie. Think she made them up? I want to talk to Susie now. That's not half of what she knows how to don't do. Don't touch me. That is only don't half touch of me. it. Get away from me! Get away from me! I can't take John. this anymore! John. No! Get away! I can't deal with this. I can't handle this! No! I said no. Please don't. Sean, please! Please! The kid! The kid! Please! I'm sorry, I didn't know. Girls? Girls? What's happening? Come on, we're getting out of here. Mommy, don't I'll explain later. Don't Come on, get away. Mommy, Mommy. 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 Don't do that. Mommy. You're scaring Mommy. them. Please, I'm sorry. Mommy. I didn't mean it. Come on, girls, get the car. I didn't do Come anything. On. Come Please, on. Come, on. Come, Come on, honey. Susie, get away from us. Come on, girls, scoot up. Please, Rosie! Get out of here! Please, don't leave. Please, please, my babies. Please, don't leave. Don't take me! Don't take my babies! Not the
Tried to set us on fire. Susie, where are you? Where am I? I don't know. Where am I? She inhaled a lot of smoke, and we had to pump her stomach. Where is she? I think we should let her rest right now. She's my daughter, damn it. I have to see her. I think she tried to kill herself. Okay, guys, we're going home. Did you find Mommy? Soon. Susie? 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 Sean. Susie. Okay. Doctor says you can go home. Where's Sean? Did he call? Let's get you dressed. Well, what about Eric? I think I should talk to Eric. You will. Oh, come on, honey. Let's go home, huh? He's given up on me, yes. No, no one's given up on you. But it worries me to hear you think that, honey. Come on, now, let's go. Why? Because, sweetheart, what happened the other night was terrible. And we're just trying to figure out why. It was terrible. I told Sean terrible things. Horrible. Darling, that's not true. It is true. There are others worse than me. What are you talking about? It's DJ and Ginger and, and others I don't even know. Oh, God, I can feel them. I can feel them coming up. Oh. Oh. I don't know what else to do. Well, I've called Martha and I've left messages for her uncle. Yeah. Of course. All right, I'll call you. Thanks, Dr. Scanlon. Daddy, mommy dead? Baby, no, no. <laughs> Go lie down and I'll make you a cup of tea. She's going to be all right, Sean. What happened? Where is she? She's at her mother's. She's uh, resting. Uh, 
She set her car on fire. But, but she's going to be fine, Sean. She's going to be fine, Oh, my son. God. Molly? Rosie? Sean, wait, wait. For what? i got to see her. No, no, not yet. Why? She doesn't want to see me? Eventually, yes, of course, but right now she's, she's still a little shaky. I know. I went nuts. I, I was afraid for the girls. I, I was, uh, I should never have left no, her alone. Sean, I, I, no, Sean, it wasn't your fault. Yes, it is. Is that what that doctor's been telling you? No. I've got to call him. No, look, no, no, Sean, I don't think she'd want you to do that. You know, she, she's been having second thoughts about him. We, uh, we all have. Why? Because of what happened last night. It wasn't Eric's fault. It was me. I went crazy. I went... Why did you go crazy? She, she told me some things. Yeah, she, she told you. Or did uh, one of the personalities, you know, DJ, Ginger, uh, Victoria, Bonnie. How can you be sure any of it was true? You don't think it is? I'm not sure. Well, what about Molly and Rosie? They should see her. Well, that, that, that's her biggest worry, too, Sean. But right now, she's uh, afraid for the children to see her the way she is. Remember the first time I made this? Mm-hmm. And you dropped half of it on your dress? <laughs> what size piece do you want, big or little? It. Be right back, Susie. You wait right here. What are you doing here? Didn't Chester talk to you? Hi, girls. Sean, please, yeah. not yet. We're looking for another doctor. Just give this some time. It'll work itself out. Rosie, sweetheart, Mommy. wait a minute. Speak to Dr. Scanlon, What about please? your daughters? Dragging them out here? What could be worse for our daughters than Susie going crazy? Susie killing herself. That would be worse. I'm not going to hurt you. I know. Good. That's good. 
Oh, I knew you'd say that. You did? Why? One. Over those men. <sighs> now you're next. S Susie, I... But I will die first. That's what you want. Why would I want that? You think I'm your dad, don't you? Messing with your head. Well, he's dead. Oh. And he can't hurt you anymore. <gasps> Can I talk to Susie now? Sure. That means no, doesn't it? You're somebody new, somebody deeper. Susie. Victoria. Bonnie. Can any of you hear me? If you can, listen. I'm here talking Whoa. to somebody who wants you dead. She thinks everything's your fault. She thinks you deserve to die. That that would solve everything. she thinks that because then at least there would be some sense in the world mm. I'm bad because I hurt so much that's what you think but you're not bad something happened to you when you were little and you were helpless mm. Not bad. Helpless. Let me talk to Susie. Susie? <laughs> Susie? Susie, can you hear me? No. There we go. Oh. Are you really there? Yes. After everything I've done. We can begin.